So we got Zach Grooves and Architects. Is there a better combination? I don't think there is. So let's check this video out. It's from Drumeo um, of Zach Grooves hearing Architects for the first time. I think he's Man, don't played... ever make me do that again, bro. Sorry, I think he's played a death core before. I think on one of his videos where he attempted it and was like, you know, it, it was just kind of too much for him. But uh, Metalcore, how can you not have heard of Arch Architects, you know? So let's go ahead and just check this out. Uh, see what Man, we got don't ever on. make me do that again, bro. Honestly, I love getting on camera and just embarrassing myself in front of thousands of people. <laughs> yeah, okay, if you haven't heard of Zach Grooves, go check his channel out. I have a, a link in the comment or a link in the description below. But his, his channel is really fun. He's an awesome, amazing drummer. And uh, his content's really unique. And I would love to do some content like his. But, uh, you know, he's just so creative and everything. Go check his channel out. It's awesome. Let's you definitely put me on the spot here, Brandon. Shout yeah, out to is, Drumeo this is as like well. nothing I've ever played. Hey guys, Zach Grooves here over here at Drumeo. I'm going to embarrass myself for you today. This guy, Brandon, <laughs> is making me play a song that I've never heard before. Still haven't heard it, by the way. He won't give me any hints. We're going to work it out together. And um, hopefully I won't embarrass myself too much. I mean, I probably will, but... Man, I love Let's the new studio it. that... What does uh, the iPad say right now? Drumeo is The iPad created. says, your body is a wonder. Okay, so you're gonna play some John Mayer. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can listen to the song as many times as you want. Really? You can do as many takes as you want. Really? First thing we gotta realize is how long is this song? All right, we got four minutes. So that only means four minutes of embarrassment. <laughs> Doomsday. You. Let us hear that. Bro, what? Yeah, this is this is like nothing I've ever played. Um, <laughs> I wonder what he's gonna write for, it, man. I, I have to ask: Do you know which band or song this is? No. Obviously, there's some trickery happening. Um, and that do 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 Yeah, one of the most ripped off riffs right here. in all of Metalcore. Where's your China? Oh, they didn't give this guy China. I can't believe it. I chose a smack stack on this song. <laughs> Does this song call for a stack? I don't know. It's up to you. Is yeah, that... let me get the stack. <laughs> do, you want do, a, that? do you want a different stack? No. We got to commit. We got to commit. There you go. One thing I love about this is he's not a metalcore drummer, so it's good to see like what a, a drummer from another genre that has no idea what metalcore is about um, will come up with something for this riff or this song. Because you know, if you're in metalcore, you already know what to play. You you would just be on the the crash, or you'd be on the china, and you would do something that pretty much any other metalcore player would would put on this track. Um, but he is totally out of it. He doesn't know those ideas that have already been out there, the stuff that works. So it's going to be interesting to see. And he's at a very high skill level too. So it's going to be interesting to see what exactly he puts on there. Oh, wow. What an ending. Now that we figured out kind of what type of groove to play during the different sections of the song and what the other instruments are doing. Well, I, I kind of just want to figure out what, what the hell I'm going to play like for the different parts of the song because... Uh, this is this is an interesting one for sure. You, you definitely put me on the spot too. here, Brandon. Success. <laughs> okay, so we got some drama. Ooh.
<laughs> I wouldn't let that stop him at all. Before we continue with the video, let me know what you guys thought about that, that his interpretation of the song in the comments below. I thought it was awesome. Um, you know, it wasn't the typical metalcore stuff we're used to hearing, so it was totally different. And um, there were some parts in there, man, that I think uh, probably sounded even better than the original um, because they were just more flavorful. There was more drum techniques used and stuff. And uh, yeah, that stack had no business being in this song. <laughs> it has no energy for, uh, you know, this song's a very high energy song. That stack has no energy. But let, let me know what you guys thought about it in the uh, comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. And let's get back to it. Man, don't ever make me do that again, bro. <laughs> I mean, I'm I don't think, think you're ready to audition now. for the band. I don't think I've ever like crashed this symbol in my life like that that hard. Have you ever played like any like harder music like that, like metal, hard rock, anything? 
Uh, when I was in high school, man, I, I was in this band called Slop. You know, we weren't like too heavy Slop. though, but like we tried to be heavy because we called ourselves Slop. So you know? all your days in Slop. <laughs> no double bass. Prepped you for this moment. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if he even knows how to play double bass. Do you feel like bass. you would play this differently with double bass? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> we don't have to do another take. We can do another take if there's stuff you want to change or like... Yeah, I mean, I missed a lot of like the silent parts, um, which is cool. I ain't tripping about that. The groove, I wish I changed up the groove more, maybe. Like, that's that's content right there. Because like, I... You can clearly tell I had no idea what I'm doing, you know? Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, that, was, that was the first run through. We came together in the end somehow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm cool. Nice. Yeah, we just keep keep mistakes and all. You don't know the band? No, seriously. The song is Doomsday and the band is Architects. Oh. You heard of them? I heard of Architects. Okay. Who, who plays drums with them? Uh, Dan Searle. Ah. Who hopefully he sees this video and uh, sees your take. Christ. <laughs> you want to hear the original? Yeah, oh, actually. I'm going to have to steal some ideas from Zach. Okay. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wanted to learn this song, but that part's a little difficult for me. Still getting used to like ghost notes, um, especially that many in the, in the room. No. He's gonna attempt mm. it again. Dang, it's sick. I mean, it's very like loud and present and consistent and powerful. I enjoyed it. Obviously, wow. your part was a lot different, but even some of the linear ideas you were playing in the chorus mm -hmm. and some of the groupings were actually really similar. I love the parts he, he wrote out for that song, you know, like the different grooves and stuff. It was really inspiring. I'm going to check out this band. You got to go check, <laughs> out, check out this band. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm not making excuses here, but I genuinely had no idea what the heck was going on during that song. And honestly, during it, I like kind of... I broke one of my spinal cords, so that's probably why it sounded bad. <laughs> you ever see that Mike Tyson video? It's like, I broke my back, spinal. I broke my back, spinal. spinal. All in all, regardless, <laughs> man, it was a great experience. I love, honestly, I love getting on camera and just embarrassing myself in front of thousands of people. I hit a couple of rims. I hit a couple of uh, some of these boys right here, but you know, it's all good. You can play that song a lot better than me if you wanted to. Just head on to drumeo.com where you can download this exact song with the transcription, note for note, you can learn how to play it, play along to the drum list track, play along with the drums. It's up to you. All right, see you on the next one. All right, man. So what'd you guys think about, uh, what'd you think about his interpretation of it? I thought it was awesome. Uh, I love these Drumeo videos where they uh, have someone out of the genre come in and check out a, a metal song or a really popular song or whatever that like they've never heard before. It's so cool to hear drummers just get on something. Uh, really talented drummers, by the way. Uh, but just get on something and attempt to uh, write drums for something they're just not comfortable or familiar with, right? And it's just awesome, dude. Uh, that guy's also a really badass drummer. I forget his name. Um, but all these, all of them, they got really good channels. Anyways, um, man, let me know again what you guys thought about this in the comments. Um, don't forget to join the Discord. Maybe we can chat about it in, uh, in there. And you can come in there. And it's free. There's a Anyways, don't forget to join the Discord. There is a link in the description below. Um, you can come in there, talk to me, other metalheads. I have music coming on the way, um, which I write on guitar and you know produce it all myself. I have a vocalist work with me, so that's on the way. And in the Discord, I might do a like a, an early release in there just for the people that are in there. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I have some more reactions to other Drumeo videos just like this, so if you like this video, 
check these videos out right here.